love you to follow us um, on our journey, um, you know, to, to try and be the best football team that you can possibly be. to think that you know we are part of it. I think the one thing that, that sort of screams out to me in the, my involvement with you know with my family is that we're all very passionate. Um, we have strong opinions on things but it's only and we've, we've clashed on certain things but it all comes from the passion that we show and the, the want to be the more ambition to be the best that we can be. I would really like the community of, of Chadwell Heath to think that you know we are part of it, we've got players from the local area, you know we're not bringing in um, players from, from far and wide and uh, you know hopefully they'll get behind us. I think Obviously, we're still getting to know each other as a team. Uh, you know, not only is it brand new for us as a management team, it's also brand new for the players because they're playing with uh, people that they've probably not played with before. Getting to know like each other's strengths um, and you know and how, how we want to play and stuff. Um, you know, so I, I think I think they're up for it. They're definitely up for it um, and and keen to get involved. As, you know, with with the game today, I've had you know a few people contact me and just say that you know they're buzzing for the game and stuff. So you know, for a lot of people. Trying to get people back into football, and, and today's you know the first step for them for doing that. Um, obviously, I'd love to start off with a win. Um, you know, I think you know that that be the icing on the cake for the whole of the preparation and the pre-season. But you know, don't get me wrong, Glendale will be a tough team. They've uh, they're an established team that have been running for a long time. They'll be well organised. They'll be a well-run team. Um, you know, so it's going to be tough. Um, you know, but every game's going to be tough, um, and, and we can't take anything. Um, so, you know, we'll just have to see what happens. You know, there was definitely some positives, but you know, we're not just going to be happy just because we won the game. We've still got a lot to work on, um, and we're going to be tested massively today. Okay, so can you just talk about uh, your last game and your preparations into this game? The last game, uh, obviously, we got three points, which was I feel was really, really important um, to get off to a good start. Um, it was it was a tough game, and we knew it was going to be a tough game. And uh, you know, I think you know we had a little bit of a nervous nervous spell where we were so desperate to get those three points and um, where we conceded a you know we conceded a couple of goals but we showed really good character we showed really good fight um, you know and we came away um, with the three points <laughs> Thank you.
Alan, thanks so much. Um, what do you think of the game? Um, we knew it was going to be a tough game. They're a young side with a lot to prove. Uh, you know, they, they made it difficult for us in the first 20 minutes or so, and we couldn't really get our passing game going. Um, you know, but once again, you know, we've come through it second half. We've, we've put in a good, solid shift, um, you know, and we've, we've ended up winning 3 0. So, you know, I'm really, really pleased that we've got another three points and, and we're free and free, you know, and at the end of the day, sometimes, you know, things don't always go to plan and you've just got to make sure that you get the win. And it's also nice to get a clean sheet. How's, um, how's Ricky doing? Because obviously he pulled up and uh, that was a bit, um, looked like a bit of a bad injury. Yeah, to be fair, I've been, uh, I've been on to Ricky for a long time about getting him to play, um, you know, and it's great to see him back on the pitch. He scored an absolute worldie today, um, you know, and he's come off of a little hamstring injury. I don't really know how bad it is at the moment. Um, he struggled with a few injuries where he's getting back into playing and he's getting his body in the, to the right condition again.